today on Fun Sock Creations, I'm going to show you how you can make your own DIY sock cactuses. No care, no maintenance. It is impossible to kill these plants. Put them together and you're done. You'll need the following supplies. Head on over to FunSockCity.com for all your sock needs, including the ones you'll need for this project. First up, we're going to do that shorter round cactus. And all you need to do is just cut off a sock below the heel. So then go ahead and stuff it with polyfill, or you could use old socks or old scraps of fabric, whatever you want to use. I want mine to be kind of a shorter cactus but you can make yours as big or small as you want it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the excess fabric there. Then take your needle and thread, insert the needle, don't pull the knot all the way to the sock. Put your needle back in and insert the needle between those threads before the knot. And this is going to lock it into place. And then you can pull it tight. And that just keeps it from popping out between the threads of the sock. And then you're just gonna weave your needle back and forth and you can do pretty large weaving spaces. And we're just gonna use this to create a little pouch. And go all the way around the sock until you have reached where you insert it. And then go ahead and pull it tight. And then I'm gonna tie it off. However, I'm still leaving a little opening right here and I'll show you why in just a moment. To make it easier to stage these like real plants, I'm going to take a wooden dowel, I'm going to break it off at the size I need, insert that, and then this is what is going to be inserted into the foam to help hold it into place. Then for an added touch, and only if you feel like it would be safe, you can add some toothpicks on here to act as the spikes which my toothpicks are kind of weird and have like this dull side over here and only the pointy side here. So I'm not sure what's up with these, but I don't know how yours are, but if yours are like mine, I'm having to poke a hole first and then go into that hole with the toothpick. And so just do that periodically to create enough spikes that you like. And you don't want them sticking out too far and work to make sure they're about all equally pointing out. This looks like a painful cactus. I wouldn't want to touch it. One really simple way to make a flower out of felt is to cut about seven circles of the same size. And I'm just double layering my felt so that I can do this faster. Then cut one circle from another color and just kind of roll this one. Then take your preheated glue gun glue that into place, then overlap the petals going around that middle one. And as you get to the last few, start to kind of bring them down around the bottom. Let it cool completely. Then once it's all the way cool, put some glue on the back of it on the bottom side of it. Just put it right on the top of your cactus. Hold that in place till it's set and then let it cool completely. Now I'm going to show you how you can make this taller cactus and what you need to do is take a sock and you're going to cut off just this top portion. So this would be perfect to use with a sock that had holes in the toe. And you're just going to cut off right above the heel. Up at the top of the sock Lock your thread into place on the inside. Then just weave back and forth along this top border and it can be pretty big spaces, just like the last one, but I'm doing it right near the top. And then pull it tight. And there's just gonna be this small spot here and all you're gonna do is just kind of close it off by going to the opposite side Put your needle in, pull that tight. Then go kind of perpendicular to that line you just sewed. Go in and then to the opposite side. You'll just do that back and forth until you feel like it's got good closure. So 
I look for these pieces that are hanging down pretty far like that. Then you can go ahead and knot it off. And then just cut that off. Then go ahead and stuff this. Now for this one, I want it to be more tall than wide. So I don't want to stuff this too full, otherwise it'll make it seem really wide. So I think that's about as much as I want to do. And I'm going to do the same thing I did on the top down here by creating the weave. For this part I chose kind of a darker green color because we're actually going to use it to make some green vertical stripes on here. So it's also really long. This is double looped, about three feet long. Well, it's double looped, so that means it's about six feet of string. So again, you'll lock that thread into place just going to weave it back and forth to create that closure. Then at this point we're going to get ready to cinch it tight. But before you cinch it all the way, get another dowel. And this one you want to have long enough that it can go through most of it, but also have some sticking out. And then you can completely cinch that down. And then you're going to bring this thread up to the top and just cross through up there at that top section. You want to make sure you're not causing it to cinch down way small. We're just creating those vertical line looks. And you're just going to go straight down on the opposite side. Then come down here to the dowel, insert the needle going perpendicular to those lines you just created. So they're running this way, I'm gonna send my needle this way through that fabric, pull that, and again, you're gonna go up across that midsection and down. And then at this point, I'm gonna create stripes between each of these four that we already have. So we're gonna do four more vertical stripes. for this one, cut a piece of felt, starting more narrow on one side and then getting a little bit bigger towards the other side. And then just cut some little snips in there. Then go ahead and just start to roll it. And every couple of rolls, just add a little smidgen of glue. And you're gonna start with that tallest part and work your way out towards the more narrow part. Glue that very end let that cool and while you let that cool cut out about six petals which I'm going to fold this twice so then I can just cut two circles and I'll get actually six. Do that one more time and then along this outside glue those petals. Kind of overlapping that second layer overlap where those other two meet. Make sure you let everything set. And this is going to go right on the very tip of this. So I'm going to put a little glob of glue right there and then I'm going to hold this in place until it is also set and then let it cool completely. Then we're going to hot glue this opening onto the dowel just to make sure that it doesn't get pulled off. Just hold it in place until it is cool all the way. And for me, I put maybe a little bit too much glue on there, so I need to rotate it because that glue wants to just fall. And make sure that the end of the dowel is right under the flower. For this last cactus, the prickly pear, which is one of my favorites. I lived in Texas and they were all over where we lived. We're gonna turn the sock wrong side out. And we're going to lay it with the heel up. Now you're going to do this depending on the pattern of your sock. Because honestly I'm doing this because I want to get stuff here and in here where I don't have the writing. So just depending on what your sock looks like, you're going to maybe do it differently. But the idea will still be the same. I'm going to create one large section here. And in this section here, I'm going to create one kind of taller and then two smaller. Now on your sewing machine or by hand, go ahead and sew on these lines. Do not sew down here where those openings are. You wanna leave that open because that's where we're going to turn them right side out. Go ahead and sew by sewing machine or by hand. After you have
have those sewn, go ahead and cut them out. Be very careful not to cut on any of your seams. And then you can throw away all the excess. Then go ahead and flip everything right side out. And then very lightly stuff these. This is just to give them a little bit of shape. We're going to lock our thread into place and just do the same thing we did on all the other ones to create that little closed pouch. Repeat that same process on the other pieces. Once you have everything sewn shut, we're going to prep by drawing some lines on here that we're going to actually sew. And you can sew these by hand or with your sewing machine. You're not going to come all the way down. Just start about there and go up. If you can see, I'm kind of following the curve of the sock. I'm not going straight up, it kind of curves out a little bit. And so I'm going to actually sew all the way through this batting and everything to both sides from here up along each of these lines to create this flat look that the prickly pears have. And I'm going to do that same thing on all of these. I love how it looks once it's sewn and it has that real flat look like the prickly pear. But now you're going to set it up to see, I'm going to put one right here and then one off of there and then this one shooting off right there. And so you'll take your coordinating thread, I'm gonna lock it into place on this underneath side. And I'm starting with the outermost pieces, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come just above that, the raw edges, and I'm gonna attach it onto the other piece. And we're just gonna keep those raw edges pushed in. And then go ahead and just knot it off. And then push it in right at that knot and then away at another spot and pull it nice and tight and cut that off and it just sucks right back into there. We're going to be putting a support in here for this one to keep it upright because the weight of everything could make it flop. So I just wanted to see if I needed to do anything in here which I think I might put a little piece right in here to keep that nice and stiff. So for this one, you only need just a little bit out. And I just like to just break them off. And then this one, I don't want any out. So I broke it off enough so that it can just all go inside there. And that'll help keep it nice and upright as it's sitting on here. It'll just keep it more where we want it to be. So then we're gonna attach this one in the same manner, and then this last piece, wherever you wanna put it, you'll attach it in the same manner that you attached this one to there. To make the flowers, again, I'm gonna cut some circles. You're just gonna cut a little snip about halfway into each piece of felt. And then take one side of that cut little snip and fold it over onto the other side, and you'll glue that into place and let that cool and just repeat that same process on the other ones. Then you'll just stack these together kind of in a circle, putting one on top of the other, overlapping them. And while that's cooling, I'm just gonna cut a little circle of this yellow to put right in the center and then let that cool all the way. And then I'm gonna make just one more. This one I'll probably put about right here, and I'm gonna make one more to put up here, and that's all I'm gonna do. But you feel free to put as many as you want. Then go ahead and just glue them on where you want them. You wanna make sure you hold them into place since there's not a lot supporting them. What I love about prickly pear is they'll just send out blossoms all over their plant. So I'm just holding these in place until they're nice and set. I'll be honest, this is the one I was most scared of and I think it might be my favorite. What do you think? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. So now I'm gonna put this just upright so that the glue can continue to set. Now you're gonna wanna trim all of your dowels so that they've only got just a little bit sticking out. I'm just taking a little utility knife and scoring it around where I wanna cut it. And then I'm gonna break it right there do that same thing on any of the other ones that you need to do. Now I've got this foam, this bowl, and some white rocks. And I got all of these things from the Dollar Tree, and this is what I'm gonna use to create my display. 
My styrofoam doesn't fit all the way down in the bottom, so I'm gonna just put a small layer of rocks at the bottom. Now, keeping your styrofoam out, decide where you wanna put everything. And I'm gonna start with the smaller cactus. Insert that. And wiggle them and make sure they're in there pretty securely. And then you can set them right on top of those rocks that you had in there and pour the rest of the rocks around it. Making sure that you get it in there to cover any of the white foam. And that's it. I did end up adding a couple more blue petals onto this first flower that I made because I didn't like the way it looked, which you'll see that in the pictures versus what I showed you in the video. But I just do whatever looks good for you and then enjoy your worry-free cactus plants or share them with somebody who you know who struggles to keep things alive. But you don't have to share it with me because I already have one. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.